Hello dear students, welcome to your new session. Today we are studying NCRT 9th Standard Science Chapter 14 Natural Resources. Let's start the class. The earth is the only planet on which life exists. Life on the earth depends upon many factors such as air, water, food, soil and energy obtained from the sun. Earth consists of different layers lithosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere. Lithosphere is the outer crust of our planet earth which is called as land. So land portion of our earth is the lithosphere. The earth's surface is covered with 75 percentage of water. This water is found to be present in seas, oceans, rivers, underground water etc. Earth is known as the blue planet because of the presence of plenty of water. Next is the atmosphere. The multi-layered gaseous envelope of air that covers the whole earth like a blanket. That is atmosphere. Biosphere is the life supporting zone of the earth where the atmosphere, the hydrosphere and lithosphere interact and makes life possible. Living things like plants and animals, they are called biotic components of biosphere. Whereas non-living things, what are the non-living things? Air, water and land form the abiotic components of biosphere. Natural resources are the non-living things that is abiotic components of nature used by human beings. The natural resources present on the earth are air, water and land. First of all about air, the breath of life. Air is a mixture of many gases like nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide and water vapors. The main composition, the composition of these gases makes life possible on the earth. Then what are the composition of these gases? The composition of gases in atmosphere on earth is nitrogen in 78% oxygen 20.95% that is 21% carbon dioxide 0.03% argon 0.93% and helium, neon, ozone, ammonia all constitutes 0.04%. In this, helium, argon and neon are noble gases. Noble gases means they don't react with anything. All kinds of cells, whether eukaryotic or prokaryotic, need oxygen to break down glucose molecules to get energy. That process is called respiration. During respiration, they release out carbon dioxide. So one of the main source of carbon dioxide is respiration. The other sources of carbon dioxide in the air are combustion of fuel by humans, then forest fires also. These sources liberate high amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, but still the percentage of carbon dioxide in the air is a fraction of a percentage that is 0.03 percentage. This is because carbon dioxide is fixed in two ways. Green plants convert carbon dioxide into glucose in the presence of sunlight by the process of photosynthesis. And the next one is the many marine animals use carbonates. Carbonates means that is dissolved in seawater to make their shells. So carbon dioxide is fixed in our atmosphere due to these reasons. On planet such as Venus and Mars, there is no life because the major component of the atmosphere there is carbon dioxide. Children, do you know which is the hottest planet? Hottest planet is the Venus because ca carbon dioxide components are more there in Venus. Next is about the atmosphere. The layer of gaseous envelope surrounding the earth is called atmosphere. It has many significant roles to play such as protection from ultraviolet rays. Actually this atmosphere protects us from ultraviolet rays of the sun. 
helping in mode of communication we can talk with the each other due to the presence of atmosphere what is the role of atmosphere in climate control the atmosphere covers the earth like a protective blanket the earth is a bad conductor of heat so the atmosphere prevents the sudden increase in temperature during the daylight hours similarly during night it slows down the escape of heat into the outer space thus it keeps the average temperature of earth steady during the day and even during the whole year the atmosphere therefore ensures that right amount of heat is received by earth which controls and allows the living atmosphere to survive students do you know what is wind the movement of air is called wind winds are the result of changes that takes place in our atmosphere due to heating of air and formation of water vapors then what are the causes of wind when solar radiations fall on the earth majority of these radiations are reflected back that is re radiated by land and water bodies and some of them are absorbed these reflected solar radiations heat the atmosphere from below due to this convection currents are set up in air since land gets heated faster than water the air over land would also be heated faster than the air over water bodies next reason is this one in coastal regions during the day the air above the land gets heated faster and starts rising when the air gets heated that's that is starts rising as this air rises a region of low pressure is created and air over the sea moves to this area of low pressure the movement of air from one region to the other it creates winds direction of wind would be from sea to the land during the day children have you heard about the sea breeze the movement of air from sea to land is called sea breeze at night what happen both land and the sea starts getting cool since water cools down slowly than land the air above the water would be warmer than the air above the land now the air above the sea will start rising and land air moves to low pressure area that is direction of wind would be from land to the sea during night this is called land breeze the movement of air from land to sea that is at night that process is called land breeze other factors that influence the winds are rotation of earth then uh, presence of mountain ranges in the path of winds cyclones thunderstorms etc next is about rain what are the causes of rain water bodies are heated by solar radiations during the day due to which a large amount of water evaporates and goes into the air as water vapors air also becomes hot due to sunlight and starts rising up along with water vapors as the air rises it expands and cools this cooling causes the water vapors in the air to condense in the form of tiny droplets condensation of water is facilitated by dust and other suspended particles in the air an excessive collection of tiny droplets of water appears in the form of clouds once the water droplets are formed they grow bigger by their condensation process when the drops have grown big and heavy they fall down in the form of rain sometimes when the temperature of air is low enough precipitation may occur in the form of snow hail etc what is air pollution an increase in the composition of harmful or undesirable substances in the air is called air pollution and these undesirable substances are called air pollutants then what are its causes excessive burning of fossil fuels for example coal and petroleum it produces high amount of oxides of nitrogen and sulfur 
that is nitrogen dioxide and sulfur dioxide these oxides get mixed with air and cause acid rain that leads to many harmful effects like corrosion of monuments etc one of the example is taj mahal taj mahal is facing a great threat due to madura refinery as it produces a huge amount of sulfur dioxide and nitrogen dioxide combustion of fossil fuels also increases the amount of suspended particles in the air these suspended particles could be unburnt carbon particles these are known as hydrocarbons it also causes air pollution many industries release high amount of poisonous gases like carbon monoxide into the atmosphere it also causes air pollution due to forest fires excessive use of chlorofluorocarbons excessive mining in all these processes harmful gases are released into the air which lead to air pollution dust also causes pollution its inhalation causes allergy asthma cold cough and it may get mixed with smoke or other harmful substances to cause air pollution then what are the effects of air pollution it affects respiratory system and cause diseases like asthma lung cancer pneumonia etc pollutant gases cause allergies irritation in eyes lungs etc gases like nitrogen dioxide and sulfur dioxide they get dissolved in rain to give rise to acid rain the presence of high level of pollutants in air reduces the visibility especially in cold weather when water also condenses out of air forming smog what is smog smog is the mixture of smoke and fog it is a visible indication of air pollution it causes greenhouse effect and leads to global warming organisms called lichens are sensitive to pollutants like sulfur dioxide and do not grow near industries and areas with high air pollution children do you know lichens do not grow in the area where there are more air pollution because they are very sensitive to pollutants like sulfur dioxide how can we control air pollution we can control air pollution by using devices in vehicles to reduce vehicular pollution switching to safe fuels such as cng wind energy solar energy etc by using all these energies we can control the air pollution then next is application of strict pollution level norms for vehicles industries etc students here is the end of the part 1 natural resources hope all of you understood well thank you and have a nice day